Lobby, um, soon to be showroom. We're not really calling it a showroom yet. It's not a bunch to show, but we're uh, going to be building it out into a full, you know, showroom with displays and more product, product on the shelves, merchandise, all that stuff. Um, we got a couple interactive S Pod things out here, which are really rad for the customers when they show up and they can start playing with things and turning lights on. And yeah. yeah. So this is um, connected to this. Yeah. So you can sync together all the. Uh, Thing, but yeah, you can do two controllers right out of the box. Okay. So this one's you know, wired to the one on here, but got one going to this one, one going to this one to the same switch panel. Um, you can do splitters as well, so you can do three, four, five controllers even. Okay. Um, Is there an app too? Yeah. Okay, so the phone app. When we get to the back, they're actually testing it back there. We're uh, redeveloping it right now, but works pretty good already. Now we're just making the user interface a little more usable. Manufacturer of the gear board. <laughs> First touch point is the repair guys. These guys are, you know, probably the hardest working dudes at BD. It's just constant. You know, we have lifetime warranty, so anything that comes back that's a manufacturer defect, they're fixing. Yeah. We're also doing production, helping with you know production runs of things. Um, all of our stuff that we need built to order. So these two guys do 95% of the yeah. warranty and all that stuff. So it's a pretty full time. Do they repair gig. what comes in, like different things? Yeah, so I mean, you can see here, like these lights are all roached. Yeah. You know, faded lenses, cracked bezels, cracked lenses, faded housing, all that's coming under warranty. So oh, that's cool. people will get really mad and be like, oh, you know, I wish it, the anodizing lasted longer, but it's like, yeah, it's warranted. So. Yeah. It's always good to uh so if they send one back like this like, you guys will make it basically yeah we'll try you know if it's a newer bar we'll yeah. save the internals do whatever save whatever we can um but a lot of times when they're old and outdated we're just you know pretty much scrapping the old bar and, and them then new. sending them you know building up a brand new one because we always are updating the boards and the led chips yeah. and so we want to make sure everyone always has the latest and greatest and there's constant revision so okay you can see like this one how it says onyx six high power yeah that's a super old one they don't that's say that one. anymore yeah um, we'll try and save stuff and a lot of times if someone sends back a working bar and it's still good you know we'll clean up whatever we can but like if we have old models that we don't make anymore um, we'll just send them back still working because it's still usable but we yeah. don't have the components anymore and then we'll still you know get them a deep discount on a new one or whatever it may be but yeah we try and just keep the customer happy. It's How long have you guys been in business? Uh, 1992. We started in 92 in El Cajon. Um, Alan Roach founded Baja Designs in his garage. He was racing dual sports and he made the first ever dual sport kit for, for motos and you know, the street legal kits and that was definitely the focus and then he so started... So it was motorcycle driven at first? Yeah, for sure. A lot of moto stuff, dual sports and then he started racing 10 cars and one cars and you know, this big reflector here, we call our high-speed spot reflector that's in the Onyx and LP bars. Mm -hmm. um, he actually was racing, I believe the 1,000. He blew a corner super bad at night, and then the next two to three weeks after he got back, he shut down the whole shop and spent every day designing this new reflector to be, you know, what was at the time very, very innovative. There was not really anything like it with yeah. running LEDs, with a big, huge reflector. And our big thing is spread of light. Yeah, so we lot. want the light to be even, smooth, and blended. Okay. You're not driving a mile down the road. You know, these distance claims are pretty, you know, unusable. So yeah, yeah. We're, uh, we're all about usable light. We still have the lasers and the racers. That'll be more distance than most of the other 
distance lights but in the market. That spread to the sides, yeah. right? Having a smooth blend so there's less driver fatigue, less eye fatigue. Nice. Um, it's a huge, huge plus. So uh, the wiring department has been you know, tailored back a little bit. We don't do all the wiring in house anymore. We did for. Sourcing the harnesses and getting them in boxes. In boxes, right? Yeah, using all the harnesses are coming from overseas. But other than that, most of the machine work is all done in the USA from different companies we use. Uh, most of the components are USA made components, so we okay. you know, always try and stay, stay local yeah, and yeah. support the USA. That's cool. um, this is our production area, so all the S Pod, Baja Design stuff is produced over here. These guys in the middle here are the runners, so they'll grab all the components for the production guys to then build them up. It's a very, very efficient system. Yeah. Uh, it's been years and years of just tailoring things to see what's going to get the most lights built up the fastest and with the least mistakes. Um, as we come through, just got more raw component storage, just lots and lots of part numbers and small bits and pieces, so it uh, takes up a whole lot of space. But this new warehouse definitely helped with that, as Kyle said. We went from 13,000 square feet to 37,000. Um, this is 13,000 square feet of just warehouse, so that was you know, a huge, huge jump for us. It has really helped us get rid of that back order that we were so deep in the hole with. And S-Pod, how long have you guys been in the S-Pod? S-Pod we acquired about two years ago. Um, it's definitely creeping up on two years. Yeah. Um, they're the original switch power distribution company. They started in 2006 in Valencia. So they were the first of the kind doing the you know bus bar style system with a dedicated switch panel. Mm -hmm. um, it started just you know trying to clean up their own wiring, then happened to do a couple for buddies, and all of a sudden they had a small business, and they kind of just stayed at the forefront of innovation. It's for sure the most refined system on the market. I mean, yeah. you've used one now. It's yeah, they work. The there. usability, the ease of use is so great, but then it's also got more functions than pretty much anything on the market. It's got run a whole race car off of it or have it just be on off it's yeah. yeah pretty what it does is it makes the installer look good too yeah, you know, at sure. a shop like they yeah. get it and then like that they make the customer happy because the install is so much cleaner yeah and it comes with everything you need heat shrink yeah. you know zip ties all the little stuff to make it a clean wiring job right. um, it's pretty it's, cool yeah i mean 30 amps per circuit doesn't tailor down at all yeah. um, it's definitely you know if you're gonna have any more than two or three switches it's yeah. a worthy investment Expandability is a big plus over any other company on the market. You can link up to four systems together and get up to 32 switches. Um, or vice versa, you can run multiple control heads and have you know, one in the front, one in the rear, co-driver, driver. driver. Um, so it's pretty endless, the use and expandability of them. Right. Uh, and including everything in installer needs is so much better. Oh, yeah. Because if yeah. you can't find it, then the install looks like crap and then could cause a problem. Yeah, pretty things. much. I mean, all you need is a spool of wire and everything that comes in the kit. There's no wire spool included because obviously different yeah. gauges. Yeah. But that's you know, that, solid state, so internally fused and relayed, just wire straight to the system, one Ethernet cable into the cab, and you're done. done. It's, uh, that's awesome. a pretty efficient system for sure. Over here, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys are special enough to be seeing this, but this is, you know, the magic magic land. There's just about, you know, probably close to a couple million dollars worth of lights out here. We're, uh, you know, we've gotten our cage pretty dialed at this point. We were $12 million in the hole last year. Now at our quarterly meeting more this morning, we just learned we're about $1 million back order with still sales intake being up from last year. So it's not that there's not sales. You're good. <laughs> it's not that there's not sales coming in. It's just the efficiency of the shipping departments and the production departments has become so great that we're able to keep up with these back orders while still you know having our sales intake be where we want it so yeah it's been pretty amazing did this was not did you have supply issue chains back then that were yeah. kind of hurting you too? so yeah it was obviously covid everything yeah. you know everyone's heard every spiel but we had all of it <laughs> um there was product wasn't you know it was being made and shipped out the same day so having stuff that's on the shelf ready to go i mean we're probably in stock on 75% of part numbers. We're gonna have live inventory tracking on the website soon, so you'll be able to hop on the site, see, you know, there's eight XL Pro wide cornering amber sitting right there, and that'll be on the website, live inventory track. So all the people who've been saying they weren't buying lights because they couldn't get them in time or whatever, it's time to bust out the wallet and yeah, get the lights because yeah. they're on, they're, they're in here. They're here now, yeah. 
the guys will, they you know, got the pullers here, so they're pulling all the product. They'll load it up on these carts, swing it around the back. Full shipping department that's running, you know, all day long. They're shipping three to four hundred boxes a day, typically, okay. on a good day. Um, it's become a pretty intense process for sure. That's, you know, had a lot of revisions itself because it was just very hard to keep up with the demand. But at this point, I mean, it's all hands on deck. Everyone's just busting ass all day long. And this team is like nonstop. I did it for years. It's fucking so much work. You are just on your feet, moving the whole time. The whole time. Yeah, if you don't have anything to do, you just need to try a little harder because there is always something to do out here. Always. FedEx trailer that lives here. That one gets pretty much filled up every day. UPS gets about half of the trailer. So they bring, they just leave it? Yep, every day they just leave us a FedEx trailer. We fill that thing up. Yep, and they show up around 7 p.m they pick it up. We're at 86 employees. At one point we are at 130. It's tailored back a little with the getting rid of night shift and stuff, but it's still a healthy amount of employees. People always think it's 20 to 30 guys, but we've got, yeah, everyone, I think the oldest employees are probably 60 years old, all the way down to 18, men and women, and it's just all hands on deck at any moment. Do you know what your top sellers are still? Product-wise? Yeah. Yeah, LP6 is, LP6 is. Um, this Toyota Squadron kit. Vehicle specific kits in general, that's Very like, popular. yeah, it's where we do a lot of our focusing when it comes to engineering and stuff is making sure we have kits for all the new vehicles. The kits are seamless, plug and play, all the wiring. It's a big, big deal because a lot of people are interested. And as simple as it is, you can put your lights on anything, I promise, but it's not a lot of people want to do that. So, yeah. These guys over here are kind of the unsung heroes. This is the quality control department. So, there's a reason our lights do so well when it comes to not, you know, having a, they're always going to have problems because it's like anything, there's always going to be small issues that arise, but yeah. these guys' job is to, you know, open every single light that gets built, plug it in, look inside of it, make sure there's no debris or small stupid stuff. We pressure test all the big lights that are going out, so it's, uh, yeah. you know, we want to guarantee a good product, and obviously there's still going to be things that fall through the cracks or O-rings that s fail later on in their life, but... But when it leaves here, it's, it's, it's been tested yeah. regularly. Right, yeah. when it leaves here, it's gotten quality control twice, actually. Um, That's good. You can see over here, he's literally aiming, you know, making sure these lights are up to the standard. That's our new SAE light, and he's aiming every single one into this box on the wall to make sure they're all hitting the mark of the SAE standards, oh, so, um, which isn't you know required, but it's still something we want to do internally to make sure everything is, you know. Big Mike, my guy Big Mike out here, oh, yeah. absolutely crushes it all day long. Uh, I'm gonna show us a little demo of testing. Yeah, so we're just making sure it's within spec. So, these two have to be aligned properly on the top see there the darker line you just gotta make sure that that falls within spec so that one's good so our SAE 2.0 which is probably our newest product that we have right now um, we've always had our SAE light but we re revised it used a different style optic um, got more power out of it with a sharper cutoff so less vertical spill light in the other driver's eyes as well as just a smoother blend of light all around our old ones we weren't super proud of so that's why we did our buyback program 100 percent free upgrade to the new internals um, so anyone if you hadn't heard if you have the old sae light which will say sae not your squadron sport or your squadron pro but if you have an sae light send it in we'll build it to these new internals and it will be um, excessively better and as we move through we've got our little uh quite messy right now because we're having some installations done on, on the building as well as Marketing is just, you know, we're messy because that's what we do. Um, this is our marketing and engineering bay. Um, it's where we do development of the new kits, you know, installing kits on, you know, whoever's vehicles we may be doing installs on. Um, if you happen to be or know someone who has a brand new vehicle, say, you know, a brand new 6 Gen 4 Runner, the new Tacoma, the new Tundras, things like that, feel free to reach out to us. We do need these vehicles. Um, we try and get them, you know, right off the bat from whatever manufacturer, but a lot of times whoever gets them first ends up here and we'll always take care of you. Um, we'll use a vehicle for R&D and then typically you can keep all the products, you know, and there's way more to it. But yeah, yeah this Pro-R has done all of our kits, so there's a couple secret things in there that we won't touch on yet. We've got our light kits already to market, so we can show those. 
Just the simple stuff, a little break room. Did not have something of this size, so it's actually been very noticeable. Uh, just kind of the camaraderie yeah. of people when they can hang out with each other on lunch versus having to sit in their vehicles because there's nowhere in the building to sit. Yeah. Um, our old building was very small. It was just pretty much a kitchen, like this little cutoff here. Yeah. Um, stuff like foosball tables, and we're always playing. It's just kind of that like <laughs> corporate you know, image of yeah. very workaholics-esque, you know, we're all just out here having fun, messing around, screaming at the foosball table. Um, but it's little things like this that kind of help, help everyone's morale stay way high versus just grinding all day. We have a lot of cool history stuff. Here's one. So 2008, Tecate scored Baja 1000. That is the founder of Baja Designs, um, Alan Roach, driving that beautiful machine there. Um, so obviously, born from desert racing and Baja racing. We have a lot of really cool history stuff in this room, but they're having a meeting, so maybe get a couple videos later. But, you know, we like to stay true to our roots. There's not a meeting going on, by the way. They're putting insulation. You want to tell me, open that door then. Did you just open it? No, but I looked in there and there's a meeting going on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't listen to marketing guys. That guy, that's Pickle. He's a really nice guy. Pickle. Pickle. Yes, yeah, so we got our operations department here. So they are the you know, backbone of getting product built up out the door on time. Yeah. The stuff no one sees, that's the hardest stuff. <laughs> uh, purchasing department here, you can't build a product if you don't have the product. So these guys are instrumental in getting us the product on time. We got our... Oh, I was going to say our beautiful CEO, but he's not in there. That's his little nook and cranny, Mr. Trent Kirby. Uh, we got our managers here, we got our S-Pod manager, accounting manager. Hey, Mr. He's had a hand sitting him over, we'll put him to work, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jacob, our operations manager. A couple more bonyos, never have enough. Complete our circle. This is our sales bullpen. Um, you know, we didn't have anything like this at the old building either. It's pretty rad. Get the phones ringing like Wolf of Wall Street. Just <laughs> everyone just going for it. Closer, uh, coffee is for closers. Remember that? Yeah, upstairs is where the magic happens. Damn it, Kyle. So this is our uh, marketing loft. The always, always busy, this always is your, dirty. Your yeah. This is our little area so got all our marketing team up here um, it's nice having our own little area since we're obviously louder and yeah way less efficient than everyone else in the building <laughs> so they put us up here to get us out of the way yeah but it's very nice you got pretty rad views it's cooler up here see too. the ocean on a typical day oh nice it's kind of a little cloudy right that's right see way up there In the marketing loft, we have the beautiful Jason Dusty Summit Stilgebauer, hey guys. Yeah. our amazing content manager, Mr. Doc Whedon, is our digital marketing What's specialist. That? And then uh, the big dog, Mr. Watkins back there. Lowman and me, so messy. This is on the cleaner side of messy too. It's been a great move into this building. Yeah. Um, it was absolutely necessary. The old building is actually that one right there. You can see the roof of it. Oh yeah. And as you can tell, it's about the size so of the warehouse. Are oh, you the first the one in this building? Brand new building? Or um, we were the first one, yes. We yeah. were the first one. There was yeah. like all these other ones had had people in them for a couple of years, but this one had been kind of sitting. Yeah. And it worked out because we used the trucks and the forklifts to drive everything up here for the most part. Um, so that was really cool. We actually did a really cool drift video. I don't know if you've seen that one, but right when we moved in, this was just a wooden porch. This wall wasn't here, it was open to the warehouse. We had all the employees standing up here with their families, and then Brennan and uh, this uh, Rob Mack, who's a drifter. Oh, yeah, 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 I saw that. They did a whole little Rip smoke show yeah. in, the, in the warehouse, and then Brennan jumped the loading dock. We're all very yeah. happy to be working here. It's yeah. got the coolest yeah. bosses in the world. Um, Trent, Brennan, Adam, Jake. All of the managers here are some of the coolest people I've ever worked for. Sean best top on is that? one of the best corporates ever. I don't want to knock that. <laughs> Those boxes. Are you guys Nitto or is it Toyo? Nitto. Nitto. Yeah. Do you want a set of those? Or what? Oh, these are the couple of things? Uh, Nitto collab. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I seen these, yeah. Might be kind of cool if I'm like the A-pillars extra or something. Are those not available? No, they are. We probably should, dude. Yeah. Are you guys sponsored by him? Yeah. Zach is. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Zach. Let's do it. <laughs> Walk in. Yes, sir. Mr. Zach is sponsored by Nitto. Can I get him a pair of these? Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Um, she means yeah. large. Follow me. Uh, I'm Dusty Summit on Instagram. A banger shot of this oh, thing. You ready on the <laughs> this is our dual S-Pod touch uh, HD push button panel in a nice billet machined housing. Um, we came out these a couple months ago. We've uh, started installing them in some nicer pre-runners. Um, I think that's where it's going to live the most happily on a nice big open dash. Obviously, you probably couldn't get this in your Jeep or Toyota. Um, but Vivian, I believe, is going to be running one. Um, perfect for a luxury truck like that. Just fits the, fits the style, obviously. Uh, it's just two full panels uh, built into one, so it looks like a 16 switch, but it's actually two 8 switch units. Brennan! He's hiding. Brennan! Tell me you're going to nerf the shit out of him. He's <laughs> here. You know, he's going to take his truck and put it through Brennan's truck. Like, just if you see him, just don't <laughs> stop. Just, just, just fucking straight just through. On a straight away. Yeah. Just, just he just thinks he's really good out. at driving. It's not true. Brennan! Hey, thanks, hey, thanks, guys. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to see you guys. Um, and then... Is meeting still in session? Yeah, dude. Still in session. You guys want to be over right now? Yeah. How long? Two minutes. Two minutes. What? Do you want to hang? He just... No. He does not ever. He just wants some videos of the history stuff. Hope you got your favorite three. Favorite three, go. Favorite three? All right. Yeah, Luke McMillan. 1600 car. First truck to ever run an LED light bar. You guys have a meeting? Um... Get baby Allen on this monkey over there. Which one's that? Where's Baby Allen? Yeah. So this is the founder, right there. The guy himself. All right. See, my friends. Hey, there Zach, your arms are overflowing, my guy. So you invite the guy out. He destroys your loading dock, then you give him free stuff. Yeah, that's what we do around here. We uh, our goal is for. Our parking lot to be what appears to be asphalt but it's just tire marks <laughs> so if you have anyone with a vehicle that goes wah da 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 and the tires go wah, 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 feel free to come use it here uh, wah da 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 wah pa 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 there's always a good shot dude best koozies in the game dude. boom boom <laughs> Man. Sure. Good right. job Thank behind you. the wheel, dude. Good day. We good. did some good burnouts. Yeah. Donuts. Mainly donuts. <laughs> um, got a tour all around the Baja Designs warehouse. Big. It is very big. It's really nice inside. Everybody's nice. Everybody's everybody's supportive. Everything's it's just amazing. The next thing we're going to be doing is probably going out to Gillan Helen. We're going to try to win and do good. Baja well, Designs well, loves Hot Ducky, Design. dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, we're done. <laughs>